Porsche Carrera Cup Germany. The heat is on. Spitzel hoch und ab geht's. Applaus, richtig Kanne. So much action. Zack, komm, rein, Borussia. Absolutely glued together. Das ist ganz hoch, Hartmut. Oh, ist die Nummer geil. <lacht> And he spins. Eight stations, 16 races, 32 drivers packing 510 HP each. That's the Porsche Carrera Cup Germany in its 34th season. With its overall winner Larry Tenforte who managed to secure the title early at Austria's Red Bull Ring. After winning in 2020 and 2021, it is now his third championship title, a record. Record-breaking was also the crowd on hand. Nearly 90,000 spectators showed up at the Hockenheim Ring in late October for the season's grand finale. And they came here to see whether this guy can still become vice champion behind Larry Tenforte. Securing the second place and obviously there's a team championship to fight for which will do whatever it takes to get that for the team. It is a weekend of decisions. Who will finish second in the overall standings? Who will take the team title? And who will become best rookie? In this classification the odds are quite favorable for Theo Overhaus. Things are very relaxed at the moment. We're currently holding a nice comfortable lead in the rookie standings. I'm just hoping to drive it home this weekend. There are two races, so I have two chances to do that. Three young rookie drivers still have a shot at clinching the title, at least mathematically. The rookie championship in the back of our mind is still all to play for between the three of us boys. But uh, yeah, look, if we focus on what we're, what we're good at, try and get the best results and, and some more rookie wins this year. And yeah, we'll see where we end up. Vincent Andronaco still has a shot at the rookie title and could theoretically snatch the lead away from Theo Overhaus. Honestly, I'm not looking so much at the championship. I know it's still mathematically possible. I'll just do my best and then on Sunday I'll see what's possible and how things turn out in the end. Theo Overhaus leads by more than 40 points. Everything is still possible. But in table tennis, things look quite different. Vincent won almost every time. I'd be second and Jones third. Let's see how things develop throughout the race. Who will be victorious in the end or perhaps get ping-ponged and drop out? It's photo shoot time in the paddock. The class of 2023 all smiling for the camera for this year's final group photo. 31 drivers are prepared to give their all again in the last two races of the season. Among them are also the Pro-Ams. In this classification, the championship is also it's still right wide open. open. Jordan is a bit in front. I don't know, man. So many things can happen. You see it's been rain, sun, people crashing, other people not performing. So anything can happen. I don't know yet. Anything can happen. The current leader among the Pro-Ams is very well aware of that. Um, and, uh, um, in the end, a complete failure would be a disaster. Of course, I'd rather finish second than end up in the gravel bed. Three drivers still have a shot at the Pro-Am's title. Ahmad Al-Shihab, Georgi Donchev, and Soren Sprang. I go to race uh, to win. We have uh, two race left, uh, and I hope so, inshallah, I will, uh, I will win uh, two races. The gentlemen, all geared up for the race, Saturday's race at Hockenheim, with a championship title on the line. In a moment, they'll be making their way onto the track. But first, there are many fans waiting to meet the drivers personally and get their autographs. As always, they are much sought after. They'll even sign your helmet. The autograph sessions in the Porsche paddock are quite popular, especially here at the finale in Hockenheim. The long line of fans attests to that. The weather is perfect. The signatures are non-stop. The Porsche Carrera Cup Germany is once again immensely grateful and says thank you to all its loyal fans. I've enjoyed a lot the 34th Carrera Cup season. We've had some great race weekends, especially here with the season finale at the Hockenheim Ring, again under the best weather conditions. With a lot of heart and soul, the drivers have given us a very diverse and extremely exciting season. It all kicked off in Spa Frankershams, Belgium. Then in June at the Festival of Dreams at Hockenheim. Then came events at Zandvoort in the Netherlands, at the Nürburgring, the Lausitz Ring, and at the Saxon Ring together with the DTM. In September, it was off to Austria's Red Bull Ring, and now the grand finale at the Hockenheim Ring. A full and highly eventful racing calendar. First of all, I'm delighted that we've had such a great season with full starting fields and completely filled grandstands. I'm very happy for Larry 1040, of course, and that we once again had fantastic, exciting races here with 32 new 911 GT3 Cup cars. Exciting racing with the final decisions of the season. To win races, you have to get off to a good start, but I'm very motivated and ready to do that right away. 
the penultimate race in 2023 on Saturday at the Hockenheim Ring. There's a crowd of over 88,000 people here this weekend at the Hockenheim Ring witnessing Larry Tenforder starting on pole position with Morris Schering alongside Hoop Van Eindhoven, great qualifying from him, and Lurk Hartog make it Team GP Elite, three of their cars in the first four positions. Theo Overhaus and Leon Curler start on row three, and on row four of the grid it's Alex Tauscher with a grid penalty and Harry King from Great Britain. Row five of the grid, Bastian Boots, he had a poor qualifying session alongside the youngest driver in the field, Janis Diak. And behind them, Ariel Levy and Sebastian Framut occupy row six. On row seven, Australia's Harry Jones and Vincent Andronaco. These are the two rookies we've seen at the table tennis table. Georgi Donchev and Ahmed Al Shahab are all chasing Zoran Spreng for the Pro Am Championship. We are go. A dreadful start for Larry Tenforder. It's Morris Schering who's first into turn one. Larry Tenforder recovering, but he's got Hu Van Eindhoven and Lurk Hartog. He's made a great start as well. The rest of the pack coming through turn one. Lurk Hartog up into second place. Hu Van Eindhoven into third. Larry Tenforder trying to come back on the inside of Hu Van Eindhoven. Leon Curler behind them. A lock up behind. Taking another look at the start. And that's Alex Tausch who gets airborne. He's pinched in between Teo Overhaus and Leon Curler. It looks like all three have survived. And Zoran sprang also in the wars. I had a very good start. I then drove between the starting row in front of me. Unfortunately, the two cars in front of me drove towards the middle and I got sandwiched. My steering broke. I then made it into the pits where it was determined that I could still drive to some extent. So I just tried to finish the race and still get scored. This was not the start of the weekend that he wanted with such a slim points lead. At the front, Morris Schuring has Lurk Hartog tracking his every move. Larry Tenforder has recovered into third place. Hoop Van Eindhoven, great progress for Bastian Boos as he moves his way back up the grid. Riding on board with Bastian, you can see he goes wide out of turn 16. The back end slides out and through comes Alex Tauscher to steal the position away. Alex has not been feeling 100% this weekend, but it's not showing he's having his best weekend ever in Porsche Carrera Cup Germany. Theo Overhaus now closing in on Bastian Boos. Theo could secure the rookie championship during this race, but he's got Ariel Levy behind him as well. Here come the leaders. One, two, three. Alex Tauscher in there as well, adjusting the brake balance. Then Bastian Boos. Now Theo Overhaus coming under pressure from Ariel Levy. The Israeli driver trying to go round the outside into the hairpin under the heavy braking they come. Ariel Levy trying to go the long way around. They go three abreast. Overhaus goes deep as well. He leaves a gap. Leon Curler comes through. Brilliant racing from Porsche Carrera Cup Germany. Around turn seven, side by side they come. Curler on the inside. Then it'll be the heavy braking before the left hand turn. Eight, three abreast. Ariel Levy tries to go up the inside. He outbreaks himself. He goes deep. Tail Overhaus coming through on top. Behind them, Vincent Andronaco and Harry Jones also running side by side. This is why we love Porsche Carrera Cup Germany. Theo Overhaus in the best position to take the rookie championship during this race. And Renarco and Jones once again fighting each other. And Renarco goes through. Jones goes wide. Two wheels onto the dirt. Now falling into the clutches of Jan Seifert and Sebastian Framert. Looking back from Alex Tauscher. He's making good progress. And here's our leader, Morris Schering, adjusting the brake balance. And he looks up into the hairpin. That's going to let Log Hartog through. I just focused on applying pressure, staying a little behind Morris and waiting to see if he made a mistake so I could slip by. So when it happened, it was like a gift and I was able to move to the front. Our new race leader is Lurk Hartog, Morris Schering recovering into fourth place, but Hartog already opening up a gap ahead of Huban Eindhoven, Larry Tenforder, Morris Schering in that fourth place, and Bastian Boos in fifth ahead of Alex Tauscher. It's Team GP Elite cars in one, two, and three. That would be enough to clinch the team championship with one race remaining. Bastian Boos now challenging on the inside of Morris Schering. Schering once again goes deep out of turn eight. Bastian Boos keeps the power on side by side. These two cars run. Theo Overhaus is just behind. He needs to stay out of trouble. Morris Schering fighting back on Bastian Boos to the inside. Theo Overhaus just behind. He can see the two rivals ahead of him fighting door handle to door handle. 
Once again, Bastia Boost having a look. Now Taylor of House also coming under pressure. Alex Tausha is coming to join this fight as well. Ariel Levy also in the background. Bastion Boost concentrating hard. Morris Schering fighting back on the inside. And at turn 17, they come once again. Bastion Boost will try and pick up the slipstream, but there goes wide out onto the dirt on the exit of the corner. And Morris Schering able to break clear. Alex Tausch has got past Theo Overhouse as well. He's now challenging Bastion Boost. He's filling his mirrors. That's allowing Morris Schering just to break clear a bit. There's some debris on the outside of turn two. Look, Hartog goes to the inside. Larry Tenford going wide out of the corner, kicking up some dust. But Hartog out on his own, but the safety car is out. Look, Hartog even has time to wave to the marshals. They seem very happy about it. So the reason for the safety car, Tim Stender's car has come to a halt on the track. So the cars are brought to a slower pace so that the number 68 car can be removed. Three minutes remaining, it's Hartog, Van Eindhoven, Ten Forda, Schuring and Boost, the top five. Overhouse is the best rookie, Michael Esman the best pro-am driver. Ahmed al had is second in the pro-ams, but Georgi Donchev is starting to challenge for that second place. Ahmed got next to me before turn seven, so he pushed me wide and uh, dirt uh, on the exit, so I couldn't break for turn eight. Then I spun and he was gone. Uh, fortunately for me, the very next lap in turn two, he had an incident with, uh, with Felgomaya, where he spun and I overtook him. But in the meanwhile, all the other guys that were behind us uh, got through. Uh, so we ended up P4 and P5 in the end, which is not ideal. Al Shahab is in trouble. He's got together with horse Felix Felbermeyer. His team can't believe it. And Zoran Sprang is also out there. He's still trying to gain some points. He's had all sorts of problems, but has to fight really hard not to DNF. He is still in the race. Every point will count. We are in the last lap of the penultimate race of the season. Hartog is in the lead, followed by his GP Elite teammates Van Eindhoven and Ten Forda. The Carrera Cup Germany is very much in Dutch hands today as Lurk Hartog takes the win. The GP Elite team is champion as well. A triple victory by the GP Elite drivers, Hu van Eindhoven with his first Carrera Cup podium in 2023. Morris Schering comes home in fourth place ahead of Theo Overhaus, who is the rookie champion. A great first season for him, but first let's hear from Hu van Eindhoven. Yeah, amazing. I've been so close to the podium this season and to make it finally happen, one, two, three for the team. Winning the team championship, so it couldn't have gone better. So I'm really happy for the team and for myself. The accumulated points are enough to determine the winning team as early as Saturday. The Dutch Team GP Elite becomes team champion in the Porsche Carrera Cup Germany. The team boss proudly accepts the winner's trophy. All the guys and of course the drivers make up a really strong team. Everyone has done a really great job all season long. The drivers, the engineers, the mechanics, all of them together made this possible. Congratulations to GP Elite, the new team champion in the Fast One May Cup, with their own champion t-shirt, of course. First, Larry Tenforti becomes overall champion, and now the Dutch squad also proudly takes the team title. Turning our attention now to the rookies, Theo Overhouse wins on Saturday and, in doing so, secures the overall victory in the rookie classification. After Saturday's race, the young man from Osnabrück, Germany, already has enough points to claim the title. He receives congratulatory cheers at the command post from his team. That was just incredible how it worked out this year. And many thanks to the guys, they really did a mega job and now we're celebrating today. So, congratulations also to the new rookie champion Theo Overhouse. The young talent is only 18 years old and we will certainly be hearing and seeing a lot more of him in the future. In the Pro-Ams, this man takes the win here on Saturday. Finishing second is Sky Pfister, followed by Holger Harmsen. The championship title in the Pro-Ams is still too close to call. That decision will fall on Sunday. The level this year has outgrown anything I've seen so far in a general sense. So we've been together competing against each other for over two years now, non-stop. Anybody who's watched the last few races will know that anything can happen. I mean, it's absolutely nothing given yet. Words from a guy who's been competing in the Porsche Carrera Cup since 2019. When you're driving, it's mostly about feeling, you know, which corner, which braking, fuel in, in which way. 
and then you actually get to sit down and look at it on the on the data screen and see how it looks in data and numbers and the best part of it you get to compare to other drivers who are quicker than you in a certain sector or section of the truck always improving analyzing optimizing he hasn't just been racing for fun for a long time he's long since been able to compete at the front with the best of them it's a very big team effort i would say a lot of people help me very coordinated work between driver engineer mechanics, coach. I've been working for uh, the past few years with Christian Engelhardt. Christian Engelhardt competed in the Porsche Carrera Cup himself for many years. He has been vice champion multiple times and now coaches Georgi Donchev. He's a meticulous worker. Every test day we analyze the progress made and over the years it's nice to see how he's worked his way up and is now fighting for victories here in the Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland. He's won the Pro-Am classification three times this season. You can almost always find him on the podium. Georgi Donchev, Bulgarian, 40 years old. I was doing a sports cup race in Oshisleven. I got a text message in, in Facebook from a Bulgarian guy named Evgeny who sent me a picture of my car on the grid. And uh, it turns out he was working in a team that was uh, racing alongside us. So we met, we started talking and since 2019, I think. He's been my mechanic uh, in Carrera Cup since day one. A team that can now boast many victories. The mechanic and his boss, the gentleman driver. So I don't feel like a boss, he's more like a friend to me. So I can say we're in a good relationship. Trusting each other, he's 100% trusting me that the car is perfect, perfectly prepared and everything is running fine. So I take my responsibilities and I don't, don't forget that he's my boss at the end. Georgi Donchev, the cool, six feet two tall Bulgarian who travels from Sofia for every race and then lives on site. He heads off to the campsite on his e-scooter. This is where his cool, eye-catching camper is parked. Georgi Donchev calls this home when he's on the road for motorsports. My mother is Polish, but I was born in Bulgaria. I live in Sofia, Bulgaria with my family. I have a wife, two kids, and normally in everyday life, I'm a, I'm a regular businessman. I, I run a few companies, I invest in a few companies. The businessman can unwind and relax inside his mobile home walls. That's how it all started back then with motorsports. I saw a video of a young driver named Christian Engelhardt, again here on the Hockenheim rink, who started P15 and went to P1 in one lap. And I was like, when? I want to do this one day. You know, when I checked the championship, it was Carrera Cup, and I was like, okay, one day I'm going to do this. No sooner said than done. And off he went to the Porsche Cup Sport. 2007, my brother bought a GT3 RS 997. Actually, here's the first place we came with it. In 2015, I did a couple of guest starts in Sports Cup. And 2016, I did the full season. Always ambitious, striving and aspiring. Me and Marvin Dees, who's racing the DTM right now, we won the Endurance Championship with the 997. In 2019, I just decided, okay, it's Carrera Cup. And since then, always mobile on the racetracks. I found this one for sale in Bulgaria. And for the last three years, I've been using it. And it's been a game changer for me, honestly, because if you're in a hotel, you get out of the car, you get to hang out with the engineers and the mechanics in the truck. For me, I can come here, have a nap, uh, look at data, cook something. The man realized a very nice home for himself for the race days. And every now and then, he'll barbecue for the neighbors at the campsite. He gets his motivation from other drivers. In order to grow, you have to surround yourself with people who are better than you, and uh, I believe the Carrera Cup is the best place for that. Words of wisdom from the likable Bulgarian who still has a shot at becoming Pro-Am champion this year. Just have fun, enjoy it, and you know, treat it like it's your last race. The last race of the season, Sunday at the Hockenheim Ring. Good luck, Georgi Donchev. Here we are on the grid for the last race of the 2023 Porsche Carrera Cup Germany season with Larry Tenforder on pole position, Alex Tauscher alongside him. But our focus is very much on the Pro-Am. Zoran Spreng starts from P18, Georgi Donchev right behind him and Ahmed Aushab next to Donchev from P21. Spreng leads Donchev by just eight points in the championship and 10 points ahead of Aushab. This is gonna be close. We are go for the last race of the season. Another bad 
start for Larry Tenforder, a great start for Alex Tauscher. He takes the lead, looking for his first ever podium in Porsche Carrera Cup Germany. Look, Hartog watching these two from behind in third place, out towards turns two and three they come. Larry Tenforder knows exactly what he's doing here, and he squeezes his way through at a turn two, and he takes the lead of the race. Behind them, there's Lurk Hartog, then there's Harry King fighting with Hu van Eindhoven side by side into the hairpin. Hu van Eindhoven on the inside, more assuring tail of ass behind them. Harry King goes wide and that lets Van Eindhoven back up into fourth place. Right, let's take another look at the start from the perspective of Larry Tenforder. I didn't really have the energy for a good start here this weekend. In the end, Alexander had a very good start, but I was able to counter again. I was able to follow him pretty good. We then drove away from the rest of the field really well. Larry Tenforder is leading the way, looking for his 30th victory in Porsche Carrera Cup Germany and his seventh triumph of the season. Zoran Sprang is having to do a lot of defending. Let's hear from him. Unfortunately, I made a mistake right on the first lap, so Ahmad and Georgie both passed me. But I knew if the race results stayed the way we were standing at that moment that I would be champion, so I did my best to keep my position and at the same time hoped that the rest in front would stay as it was. It's not an easy situation for him. He has to hope for a result and there's nothing he can do. Yesterday, we saw that anything can happen at any time. The massive crowd are enjoying the autumnal sunshine and enjoying the fight for seventh place between Leon Kerler, Theo Overhaus and Bastian Boos. Both Kerler and Boos are not happy with how their season has gone, but Theo Overhaus, the new rookie champion, is showing them a clean pair of heels. Bastian Boos getting really close. He looks to the inside. Leon Kerler just holding back slightly. The two cars running side by side. It's the Porsche Junior who sails past the new rookie champion, but he outbreaks himself into the motodrome. He's out onto the gravel and he loses a whole load of places. He's falling back by Janusz Stiak. That's around P15. And in addition to that, the car seems to be in a bad way. This is not the end to the season that Bastian was looking for. I had a small contact with Theo, I think, which broke the radiator. And I was on the inside, actually, on an overtake. And then I locked up the front tire because of the water coming out of the radiator and went off. Uh, so, yeah, it's basically a race over from there. This is a race that describes his Carrera Cup season perfectly. He won the title in the Super Cup, but Carrera Cup did not work out for him. And now his teammate is in trouble as well. Vincent and Renarco takes a big hit. Vincent was just a passenger. What are you going to do if someone just drives into you from behind? It is what it is. You still have to be happy about second place in the team standings, third place in the driver's standings, and P3 in the rookie standings. That's not a bad result, and so now we can step up our preparations for next the excitement in the race continues to the end. We are still looking for the Pro-Am champion. Zoran Spreng still in front, but Ahmed al Shahab is leading the race within the race. Donchev is behind him and Zoran Spreng is followed by Mikhail Esman. He has to stay in front of Esman to win the championship. It could not be any closer. Spreng is leading by only just one point. Mikhail Esman could become a factor in this championship, but Zoran Spreng just needs to hold it together and to avoid all the trouble like that in front of him. That's Lucas van Eindhoven, a big impact into the fence. The young brother of Hu van Eindhoven makes contact with Georgi Donchev. He spears off into the fence. The safety car is deployed. It means that the race will end behind the safety car. It's Larry Tenforder who will lead the field around turn 17 for the final time this season. But it means that Zoran Spreng is the pro and champion. An almost perfect season for Team GP Elite. Super. Super, this is my first podium. I had to wait a long time for this. It's been a difficult year for all of us, and I think this is good for everyone involved. Good for morale that we were able to get to the podium. I'm super happy. Super happy were all the other drivers who scored again in the 16th and final race of the season. Here are the results of the last race at a glance. Larry Tenforte wins, followed by Luke Hartog in second, and with Alexander Tauscher finishing third. In the Pro-Ams, this man is the first to take the checkered flag on Sunday, Ahmad El shihab The Kuwaiti takes the podium for the fifth time this season. Second is Georgi Donchev, third Soren Sprang, who becomes Pro-Am champion this year.
Professor in Spring earns this title with just a one-point advantage. This feels great. We all worked really hard all year. This was definitely teamwork. Congratulations to the new Pro-Am champion, Søren Sprang. The Porsche Carrera Cup and another title, Luke Hartog becomes vice champion. A perfect season, a dream come true for me. Let's see where the journey will take us next year. Anyway, this year has been awesome. A big kiss in the pit lane for the runner-up. Following a terrific race weekend with so many fans attending the Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland. Celebrations continued in the evening at the end of season party in the Porsche paddock with awards for the teams and drivers. Here's to another great season. See you soon next year.